J. Jonah Jameson here. Spider-Man, a psychopath wielding powers he has no right to possess, trying to pass himself off as a hero. Well, let me tell you something, kid. You're no hero. Mysterio, that's a hero. You are a criminal, a miscreant, a masked marauder, a menace. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. We got a brand new clip of J.K. Simmons playing his iconic J. Jonah Jameson character from what they called in the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, a controversial website, the dailybugle.net. We're going to break down exactly what this means more for the Sony side of things, why Marvel and Sony would even release this clip. Yeah, it has a lot to do with the digital release and keeping that in the news so that they can sell more copies, but also I think it's more of a goodwill thing. We're going to break the whole thing down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including copies of Avengers Endgame and Blu-ray and DVD. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So real quickly, to get it out of the way, because we haven't been able to talk about it for two months, I love that they brought back J.K. Simmons to reprise his role as John Jonah Jameson. He was perfect for it, and I also love the update, falling more in line with what they did in the PlayStation game, making his news like a controversial news site instead of a newspaper that's pretty outdated. Either way, it's very interesting that they dropped this clip. Now, of course, the Spider-Man Far From Home digital release came out and they're trying to sell more copies of the movie and that makes sense. You go ahead and put this clip out there. You remind everybody this just came out and how awesome it was. You might re-energize people to buy it, but also you got to know that the people over at Disney, Marvel, Sony, they're all acutely aware of how the news is getting spun, what people are saying, how they're feeling about it. And I think this is more of a goodwill release reminding everybody how awesome Spider-Man Far From Home was. Hey, look, we've got J.K. Simmons. All these sort of things to make you be like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. But really, at the end of the day, all this did was remind me that Spider-Man's not in the MCU anymore. And as excited as I am to see John Jonah Jameson, they talked about Mysterio as well. They're just not part of the continuity and the story and thing that we're all a part of now as a fan community. So it's going to be really hard for me to get the excitement back until I know for sure, A, that he's out and not coming back. And when he does, I can't wait to see where he pops up next. Now, you guys may have seen the report in the last 24 to 48 hours that Sony is moving forward with all their plans as far as the Venomverse goes and Tom Holland, that even though they may come back and renegotiate, they're pressing forward with everything they plan to do with Venom 2, Morbius, and inserting Tom Holland's Spider-Man into that. And of course, that gives us weak knees and a little bit of nervousness over here at the MCU fan base because, hey, we want to see Spider-Man back in these movies, not in their Venomverse. And quite honestly, I said this in my very first video, you've got to know as people start writing scripts, as directors start getting hired, people start casting movies, the further that goes, the further we are from getting Tom Holland Spider-Man back in the MCU, at least for a couple of movies. And quite honestly, I don't want that character having some sort of mixed backstory where he was in the Venomverse for a couple movies, but then he came back and they couldn't talk about Iron Man there. It's just such a mess, guys. Figure it out. Disney, please just write the check and get him. I don't care if you're going to get him for free in a couple of years. Get him now. That's what I'm saying. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments, A, about this clip and J.K. Simmons coming back. Is there any part of you that still can get excited that he's coming back given the news about Spider-Man recently leaving the MCU? And B, has your heart settled on this at all? Have you guys come to peace and come to terms with it? Are you accepting that Spider-Man's out? Or are you still holding on that maybe he's going to come back to Disney? Let me know what you guys think in the comments and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 500,000 subscriber mark. We're headlong into that now, should hit it by month's end. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. And if you do, that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes like copies of Avengers Endgame and Blu-ray and DVD that we're giving away through the rest of this month. Again, all the same rules apply. Hit the sub button, hit the notification bell, and because it's truly random the more videos you like and comment on the better chance you have of winning my name is michael roman this is everything always guys thanks for checking out the channel and stick around we'll be posting again real real soon